second and 12. Newton buying time to his left. Hip cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball's going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. Flushed out right. He's going to air it out deep for Green. He's got a man complete. A big time play there for the Falcons. 46 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. We're scoreless after one. On second down now, Dickerson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's make these fakes. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. On second down, Dickerson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And a guy that knows a thing or two about making tackles behind the line of scrimmage, Kevin Green, at it again. How about the ferociousness that he played with? And you remember that long, flowing hair that came out of the helmet? Almost like a lion's mane for him, right? <laughs> Try to keep a lion away from what a lion wants to get. That was Kevin Green trying to block him when he was trying to accumulate quarterbacks and guys with the football. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That's an excellent run right there on second and long. Didn't get back all of it, but a huge chunk. Now they're in third and manageable and back on schedule and trying to pick up a first down. He may try and run for this. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And not the clean start that we had envisioned. You thought this would be a pretty crisp game, but a turnover for a turnover. Yeah, so much for scripting. Because if teams are doing that, <laughs> things aren't going according to plan. Maybe it's a case of nerves. Maybe it's a case of, you know, too much energy right now. Let's see if both teams can get settled in. And, start and he can't get away. 
play. Newton can't escape the pressure, and it's a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. On the return, Hester. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now a give, right side, Dickerson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down now, Dickerson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. It's a play fake. Now Vic. And he connects with Ertz. Touchdown, Falcons. Zach Ertz, 46 yards. 